Hey guys, today we're going to be using a web to row tool called S'more, um, which is a really cool tool that you can use to create online flyers that you can post to the web or embed in a web page. It's a really neat tool that uh, we're going to work with today. Um, for the purposes of what we're doing in class, we're going to use S'more as a way to present the research um, on the topic of your choice. So when you first begin your um, S'more account, um, you're going to go to s'more.com and you can choose the education setting and you can set up an account for free. Um, you're going to want to use your student email and your Leiden password um, to create your profile. Now once you've done that, um, you're going to come to a screen similar to mine. Now I already have um, an account set up so mine automatically takes me to uh, my profile here. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and click on start a new flyer. And when I do this, there's going to be some options, some different templates that I can choose from. I'm going to go ahead and click on the one called News Bulletin. And you're going to see the first thing it asks is to pick a title. Um, and, and the title is going to have to do with whatever you're researching. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and click on the title. And I'm going to click on one. And let's say that I am researching global warming. Oops, got to spell that correctly. So I put in my title, and you could put in some kind of subtitle, or you could certainly just put in your name. Click Done. And you'll see now that you have your title along with um, your subtitle. Now, just to the right of that, you're going to see that um, it says Design, and it's defaulted to Modern. And if you pull the menu down you'll see some different options that you have and you can hover over the different options I kinda like the one called minimal so I'm gonna go ahead and select that um, you'll also be able to look at the backgrounds here there are um, upgrades but uh, you don't have to use those um, we're just using minimal so we're just gonna select that one but let's take a look at modern real quick I think you can so if I select modern you'll see that there are some different types of pictures that you can use as a background that may or may not be appropriate for your topic so you just want to make sure um, to use one that's that works for your topic once I've done that you'll see next to background it says colors and I can go ahead and hover over the different colors to pick a color that's going to work. And again, you want to make sure it's a color that's very readable. And I kind of like that nice bold red. I'll select that. And you can also then select fonts. And you can hover over and you can see what the different fonts look like. One word of warning, you want to make sure that your font kind of um, meets the needs of your content. If you're doing um, some research on a pretty... Um, important topic you don't want to use a, a font that's maybe too whimsical or, or fun. I'm going to use this one, the, the one called Glasgow. And now I'm ready to start entering my research. And of course um, we want to treat our s'more flyer kind of like a five paragraph essay. Um, and so I go into my first paragraph but instead of writing in, in traditional essay style Instead of having the topic sentence within the body of the uh, paragraph, I'm going to kind of use that as a title. Um, and so this is um, a background into uh, global warming. So I'm going to put, is our world heating up? And then I would go ahead and provide some introduction details about my topic um, about global warming. Now, once I've done that, I would go ahead and click Done. Now, I had mentioned that we want to create it like a five-paragraph essay, so we do need some other things to write. You'll see down here there's another sample paragraph, and I can just drag that up into place by holding my mouse button down. I can click in, and let's say the first paragraph of the body of my essay um, is going to be about extreme weather. And down here, I would be providing the 
supporting details. You'll notice you can even use uh, bullet points, you can use numbering, you can link to places, you can bold, you can underline. So you do have some additional formatting that you can do. And I can go ahead and click Done. Now maybe I want to add some pictures here. I can add pictures or I can um, get rid of this if I want. And just click Remove. And down here, I can select a gallery or maybe I just want oop, click Picture. And I'll bring this up. Maybe I want a big photo. And I'm going to add a picture from my files that fit my topic. So you can see that this is starting to kind of come together. I can drag my picture up if I want. Maybe I'll drag that right under our topic sentence. And under extreme weather, maybe I want some other pictures here. I'll drag that and I'm going to do a gallery. Let me drag that one more. And I'm going to go ahead and click on my pictures that I want from my folder. And then I can give these um, a title, Melting Poles. Dry Earth. And I can go ahead and click Done. Um, you could certainly add an, another picture here, uh, but you're starting to get the idea. And so let's say I'm ready for another paragraph. I'm going to go ahead and bring in some text. So I'm just going to click that. And my next one is Ocean Impact. Again, supporting details. Click Done. Bring that and put it into place. And maybe I have another one. So this would be my third supporting paragraph, so to speak, called Food Shortage. And again, supporting details. And then lastly, you'd want to finish with your conclusion. I might call it a fix. And then you're going to review and restate facts and provide a solution. And if I don't want this here, this about us, I'm going to go ahead and just click and remove that. get rid of this too. I don't need that. And then once I'm ready, I can go ahead and click Done Editing. And you're going to see now what your flyer looks like. Now in order to share this with me, what I'd like you to do is you can go ahead and click on where it says Embed. And it's going to create a link. You can also embed this in a website if you wanted to. Um, but for our purposes, we're going to go ahead and make a copy of this link, click on it, right-click copy, and then we're going to go ahead and paste that into the submission form in open class um, when yours is um, all complete. Um, if you need some additional information on how to use S'more, there are plenty of other videos out there that you can find on YouTube, or you can certainly email or ask one of your instructors. Uh, thanks a lot, and good luck on your assignment.